This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Put Text on Top of an Image, or another way of putting it, How to Set an Image Behind Text. And uh, I, I'm saying it both ways because people will search for uh, things in different ways and be looking for the same thing a lot of times, so I'll probably put both of these in my post title. But I've already got something uh, sitting out there on, on the McBuzz uh, WordPress site. And if you're not familiar with this site, if you're looking at the tutorial on YouTube, um, here is the address. It's mcbuzz.wordpress.com. And uh, I'm directing you to this site mainly because um, for this uh, example tutorial, there's some code here that you need to pick up. And it's been a little tricky. Uh, for me, I'm not sure if any of you have, have a solution to this problem, I'd love to hear about it. Um, just putting code into the WordPress um, post itself so that people can read it and then copy it. Because when I put it in there, it gets funny characters, um, you know, substituting for things like quote marks, and then the code does not work. So if you tried this already and it didn't work, that is probably why. So I think I've got that problem solved here. So bear with me and I'll show you how this works. Um, here's what we want to accomplish. A sample uh, post here with the image and then text in a headline and text. You can see that I can, I can highlight this text. Um, you'll see this on a lot of websites actually um, setting uh, an image behind text. And um, you know it's, it's nice to be able to do that if you want to do some um, graphic design type things. If you're a designer um, which I am not, but uh, I do have great appreciation for people who can design. And the the main um, advantage of doing something like that versus just having the text as part of the image, a lot of you probably know this, but um, you know, search engines are at this point not able to read text in images. So when when you set the text like this over the top of an image, they can read it perfectly, uh, just as if uh, it were you know, in a standard um, situation like, like the heading down here, say. Uh, so that's great. They can, they can tell what, what you're talking about on the page. And it looks nice. Uh, so here's how this goes. We're going to create a new post, one more sample. OK, so sample 2. And you can see we've got, uh, so this is the post. This would work on a page as well, doesn't matter. Um, you can see that we've got the two editing windows, uh, as you know. One is the visual editing window, and the other is the HTML. Okay, so you can put uh, whatever you like in the visual editing window. You can paste stuff in here from other documents or whatever. Um, of text I'm going to put, okay, and then uh, second line of text, okay. So I just type those into the visual editing window, but when I get the code for this image uh, behind text, I'm going to paste that into the HTML editing window. If you don't, it's not going to work. Okay, so let's go uh, find that, that code. Here's the post itself called How to Put Text on Top of an Image in WordPress. And you can read through that in the uh, about the middle of that post. You can see I've got the sample down here as well. Um, I've got a link here, and it says Text on Top of Image Code. Right-click to open or save the file. Now, this depends on what uh, you know kind of computer operating system you're using. But um, typically, if you can right-click or on, on a Macintosh, probably, let me just try this and see what the heck happens. Okay, so I click on the link and then it says, do you want to open? Um, which you can do, that would be fine. And you can open it with, if this, uh, oh, yeah, I don't really want to, you know, dig through all my programs here. Um, maybe I can do it quickly. So I go and find Microsoft Word, or not, uh, okay, never mind. So anyway, uh, you can do that yourself, right? Find Microsoft Word, the program that you want to open the file with, or save it to disk and let it do that for you. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to save it to disk, and I already have a copy.
copy of it down here, I think, but on the desktop, okay, save. Um, I'll replace it, okay. And then I get, because I'm using Firefox, I get a little download box that tells me, okay, I've successfully downloaded that. Now I can just click open it. If I wanted to, I can go and find the file, double click, and I'll open it that way. Um, okay, so I open it up in Microsoft Word, and you don't really need to understand this code, you just need to be able to highlight it, like so. Okay, and then copy, do a Command C or right click, and copy. And then we don't need that anymore. Okay. And Microsoft Word will put funny characters into your uh, text as well if you're just using it um, in that way to, to copy text for HTML sometimes. It's kind of messy. Um, however, because we're using the WordPress uh, HTML editing window, we're all good because we just click on the HTML. This is a good way to import text, by the way, into WordPress. Okay, I just hit the return key twice and made a, a new line there in the HTML editing window and now I'm going to paste bonk okay that code in there um, okay I think we're good to go um, you can see that this kind of runs off the edge uh, here of the of the visual editing window or the HTML editing window but that doesn't matter and now I'm going to publish this Um, I'm going to hope that it works. I did test it. Okay, so that's done. And now if I go back out here and I'm going to refresh the page, I should have two sample posts, sample one and sample two. Okay, there it is. Excellent. So there's sample two we just created. Okay, and you can see this second line of text here nice. It happens to be below the image. Now, uh, just to quickly show you what else you can do, uh, the, the main thing here is to swap out the image for one that you want to use and then you can play around with the other settings. Okay, so I want to go to manage. This is going to be quick. Sample 2, okay, now I did not actually upload my image, so this this will take a second, great, uh, bear with me. If you want to see how to add an image or upload an image, check out the earlier tutorial, okay, choose file, um, sample graphic, and gradient sample. Selecting that one. WordPress says crunching. Okay. I should put, uh, I don't need to caption. I should put a better title in for this image, but it's not really important here. Okay. And I can just save all changes there because I'm not inserting it into the post in the standard way. Okay. Now I look in the media library. for that image, which is a gradient, and I show it, and then I see the link URL. Okay, so I can click in there and go Command A and select it all and copy it. That is all I need, so I just, you can watch this in the other tutorial. Um, okay, and I go back out here to my sample to post, and then I'm highlighting this whole thing or deleting it if you prefer everything between the parentheses where it says URL and it has parentheses do not delete the parentheses paste that in I have the entire URL and I'm now hoping that it works okay I'm clicking on save we should see a new image and then I'll be out of time view this post It worked.
Okay, so I have a little gradient image now instead of the, we'll go up out here to this, which I made the same color as my banner. Okay, so see how that swapped in? That's how you can do it. Just put any image that you want that you upload to WordPress, put the URL in where the URL appears in the sample code, and you're good to go.